Minasan, konnichiwa, squishy toke, yokoso! In today's video, I'm going to be trying sweets from Family Mart. I've never really eaten sweets from a convenience store before, so other than the melon daifuku that I did in a previous video, this is gonna be my first time, and I'm pretty excited about it. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe! And let's get into it. So first of all, I'm going to introduce you to the sweets that I've purchased today. So first of all, I have pudding. On the way back from the convenience store, it got a little bit shaken up, but it should not affect the flavor, so that's great. So next we have warabi mochi, and this just looks delicious. I'm so excited to try this. Maybe this is the one I'm most excited about? But we'll see, I'll show you the others first. So next we have shoe cream. I know that this is a very popular dessert in Japan, so I can't wait to get into this. Here we have a double chocolate sandal, which again, I don't think I've tried anything like this before, so I'm pretty excited, but I'm imagining that it tastes a lot like regular chocolate cake, which I love. So we'll see what happens with this one. Finally, we have matcha cream taiyaki. This is another one that I'm extra excited for. I feel like I already know this is gonna taste great. And then, finally, I have some Mugi tea in my special Squishy Talk glass that my friend Yuki very kindly made for me and gave to me as a gift. Look how amazing that is. It has like a rainbow tint on the glass as well. I remember in a previous video I mentioned that I wasn't the biggest fan of Mugi tea. Yeah, no, that's changed. This year I've really fallen in love with it and I completely understand why it's so popular to drink in the summer, because this summer all I've been drinking pretty much is Mugi tea. So let's get into these desserts. So I think the first one I'm going to start with is the Pudding. So interestingly enough, in the UK, I believe we have this, but we call it creme caramel. I think it's the same thing. When we talk about pudding in the UK, that's just another word for dessert. So pudding can be anything as long as you're eating it for dessert. So when I first came to Japan and I learned about pudding or pudding, I was a bit confused. <laughs> what is that? Because yeah, I'm pretty sure we call this creme caramel, but let me try it and then maybe I can let you know for sure. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Like I said, it broke up a little bit on the way back from the convenience store, but it's still in pretty good shape. So that's what it looks like. Itadakimasu. I will say it definitely reminds me of the dessert I was talking about in the UK, creme caramel, but I think this is subtle compared to that. I think creme caramel, if you've ever tried it, the caramel flavor is very, very strong and a little bit overpowering. So I'm not a huge fan of creme caramel, but this is delicious. This has a lovely subtle flavor. I could easily eat that. That's really good. I love how light the texture is and how light the flavor is as well. It's a simple treat that I feel like you can really enjoy and you're not gonna get that heavy feeling in your stomach afterwards. So I'm going to mention as well, like in previous videos where I'm eating food, if I'm not eating all of it, it's because I'm sharing it with Taro, and Taro is extremely happy to be sharing this with me. Okay, so let's move on to the next item. So this is the Warabi Mochi. This is one of the ones that I am most excited for. I'm always really interested in traditional Japanese food, so I'm ready for this. Oh. Okay, there it is. I absolutely love that in convenience stores they package things that can easily be squashed into this plastic thing to prevent that from happening. I love that so much. So here is the warabi mochi and you can see the kinako on the top. And the kinako smell is really strong as well. Lucky for me, I love it. So that's a plus. So I'm going to be using a spoon for this. So what this is, is the warabi mochi with kinako dusted on the top. There is brown sugar in the center, so that's what that sauce looks like, and also some whipped cream. This sounds incredible, so let's see if it tastes just as good as it sounds. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Oh my god. <laughs> 
that's my favorite. The pudding was good. I'm not gonna discredit it in any way, but the warabi mochi, it's so good. I just feel like kinako and brown sugar are already a good combination. They're both good together anyway. The whipped cream, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't sure about it, but it works perfectly because whipped cream is such a subtle flavor. Oh, I wanna eat the whole thing. <laughs> It's really, really good. I'm so surprised. I think the thing that always surprises me the most about convenience store food is that it's so good. It's affordable and incredible tasting. I don't think I've ever purchased anything from a convenience store that disappointed me, and especially not today. These are great. But yeah, I really recommend the Wadabi Mochi. If you live near a family mart, pick one up. It's fantastic. So next we have the Shoe Cream. Uh, I think we just call it a cream puff in the UK. Again, this is something that we have in the UK, but the first time I tried it was actually in Japan. So I've never tried one from a convenience store before. So this is gonna be my first time. Let's get into it. It's so soft, it's like a little cloud in my hand. Oh my goodness. So I know that when you bite into these, they have a tendency to squirt custard and cream everywhere. So I'm just gonna break it open and at least that way you guys can see the inside of it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Itadakimasu. This is really delicious. This is um, kind of a safe option, I feel like. It's good, there's nothing in it surprising, but I think this is because I already knew what shoe cream was gonna taste like, and I feel like it's quite difficult for shoe cream to taste any different from another shoe cream, but I love this. If you love shoe cream, this will definitely satisfy your craving. It's definitely full. You're not gonna take a bite of this and not have any cream inside. Like, it is very full. So there's also a whipped cream shoe cream. I don't think I saw that in Family Mart today, but that is another version of it. This is clearly the custard filled shoe cream. So I'm just going to have a quick sip of tea just to cleanse my palate. It's a perfect summer drink. Anyway, let's move on to our next sweet treat. We have the double cream. Sandal. I'm not gonna lie, this one terrifies me. <laughs> Just because it looks so rich. I love rich food. I love chocolate. I know I'm gonna love this. It looks like a mushroom. I'm so surprised. I thought this would be kind of like a shoe cream, but it is li it's literally a small cake. I think... I'm going to have to get a knife and kind of treat this like a cake. So I've just cut a little slice here and you can really see all of the layers inside. So there's a lot of cream in there. Itadakimasu. That's interesting. Okay, hold on. Because that had so many layers of cream, I was really scared it was going to be sort of overpowering and quite rich. Don't get me wrong, it is quite rich, but the flavors are very subtle, so actually it's not as difficult to eat as I expected. The other thing to mention as well is that there are chocolate chips inside, so that adds a little bit of crunch because I think without those chocolate chips, the texture would be extremely soft. The chocolate chips were a really, really nice touch. I definitely wouldn't be able to eat the whole thing though. It's very, very chocolatey, but if you love sweet things, definitely get this. And I think it's a great replacement for a cake as well. I know sometimes if you buy a cake, it can be a bit too big. So finally, we have the matcha cream taiyaki, and I am so ready for this. So let's open it up. Here it is. I love taiyaki. Um, I think I've mentioned it on this channel before. I love taiyaki. I just love the concept of a fish pastry. I think that's amazing. So I'm gonna try this. Here we go. Oh. So again, I'm really impressed with how full these are. So far, there's not been anything that doesn't have enough filling. I know that's a risk usually when you get desserts like this, but this is extremely full. So there's actually matcha in the pastry as well. It's not just the cream inside. And there are also small red beans in there too. Itadakimasu.
that's delicious. It's one of those things where I kind of knew exactly what it would taste like and I definitely wasn't disappointed. So I definitely recommend that one as well. I think I'm so lucky to live in Japan and be able to eat matcha flavored products as much as I want. Matcha is actually very popular in the UK right now, but I find that it's very hard to get products that contain matcha. I think the only thing that's readily available in the UK that is a matcha product is probably a matcha green tea latte from Starbucks. That's extremely popular in the UK. I know so many of my friends that love it. And usually when I come back to the UK, when I ask my friends, hey, is there anything you want from Japan? It's usually something to do with matcha tea, so. <laughs> so that is it for today's video, you guys. I was pretty impressed. Not a single one of these items let me down. I might start buying convenience store sweets more often. Like I said, I've never really done that before, so today was a pleasant surprise. But I would love to hear your thoughts. What are your favorite desserts that you can get in convenience stores? And out of all of the items I tried today, which one would you like to try? I think my favorite has to be the Warabi Mochi, so if you see that in a family mart, check it out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!